Hello pilots, welcome back to another GeoFS Events video. Today I'll be doing a full tutorial on the newly released FMC. Today we'll review all of the basic features of the FMC, how to create basic routes, and I'll demonstrate a full approach in the Airbus A350. Stay tuned! Welcome everyone. First things first, you need to find the FMC. All you have to do, click Nav, and click Flight Plan, and there you go. This is the UI where the FMC is located. So first, we're going to go over how to manually input routes. So I'm right here at Nice, and if I want to make a route from, let's say, Nice to the airport right next to it, I can click on Nice, click the grade uh, takeoff button, and boom here, LFMN, and then Foxtrot Mike November loads in as the departure airport. Now, we can use the GPS fix feature to create custom waypoints. So if I right click and then click the GPS fix button, it'll automatically insert a fix. And all I have to do is click the fix and press this plus button that will add it to the waypoint. I can do this for every other fix here and it'll make a custom route. There are other ways you can insert manual waypoints. You can use the NavAids, NDBs, or VORs. Or you can enter airports themselves. And simply just navigate uh, by the airport, as you can see there. You can put it there. And we can also input uh, realistic waypoints. Prozo is a realistic waypoint, which is 7,000 miles across the world, but we'll use it in this example. You can see here, it'll just automatically input in there. There's a whole database available uh, in the FMC. So if you make a route on Sky Vector and you want to manually input waypoints, you can just do it there. Now we're just going to go over how to upload a flight plan. So we'll move everything here. This is, you can paste flight plans from a clipboard or copy them to a clipboard. You most likely won't be using these unless they're copy paste it from somewhere else. You'll most likely be using the open flight plan file method. Uh, if you're in GeoVS events, we uh, paste all of our routes in the announcements channel. So all you have to do is download the uh, flight plan, click open flight plan file. This is what a flight plan file looks like. It's a .json file. Click that, click open, and there you go. Your route is automatically loaded into the uh, FMC. Now here we have our waypoints. Uh, distance between each waypoint, track, which is their heading, altitude, and speed. So altitude and speed, you're gonna if you're manually entering waypoints and want a specific altitude and speed for each waypoint, you're gonna manually have to in input them. But on our routes in GeoFS events, we're gonna have them already in the routes. So we'll go over what these buttons mean. This check mark just is basically selecting each waypoint. This uh, fast forward uh, mark. This will take you to the waypoint at the assigned altitude and speed. So if I was to click Kona, I'd spawn at Kona at 10,000 feet and 250 knots. These up and these arrows here just move the waypoint up and down and this X deletes it. So for this example, we'll click the fast forward button. And you can see it automatically teleported me to that waypoint halfway across the world at the assigned speed and altitude. Now the airplane is not actually following the route because autopilot is not currently on. So to do that, we'll uh, get it back our HUD. Press A for autopilot. And there we go. Now, if we reselect the waypoint, it'll input the speed and altitude where of what we assigned. Now you need to make sure if you want uh, the aircraft to follow the waypoints that it's on nav mode. If it's on heading mode, it won't follow the waypoint. It'll just follow the uh, speed and altitude. Now, since uh, departing is pretty easy with the new FMC, I'll just demonstrate a full arrival into Portland. And I'll also include how to use the ILS approach feature in your routes. Now we're just approaching our top of descent. And as you can see, we have all the values filled out in the FMC. So shortly, we're just going to play a time lapse 
and then you'll see how the aircraft follows our descent path that we already put in the FMC. I have everything left open. You can see the radio panel, uh, distance remaining, uh, uh, knots, and the time to the next waypoint. The aircraft is automatically descending to the assigned altitude and it's uh, slowing down to the assigned speed. It just does the same thing as if you were departing. Now during descent, you won't have to touch anything besides gear, flaps, and spoilers if you need them. And what's really cool is that you can add ILS approaches on the end of these routes. So if you click the blue dot as you would on the runway, then you select the gray button in the uh, ILS panel and that adds it to the end of the route. As you can see, KPDX is already in there and that's the ILS approach for the airport. So the aircraft will automatically transition to the ILS approach and you won't have to touch anything. It'll automatically descend to the runway and you can take over autopilot when you're ready. Now what I'm gonna do is leave the aircraft on the ILS approach to until 200 feet and then I'll take over from there. I'm just uh, demonstrating that you can take it all the way down to the runway without touching anything besides gear flaps and spoilers. And that concludes the video. We hope you enjoyed that quick introduction to the new GFS FMC. We're excited to see these new features coming and uh, we hope you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.